Howdy y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try and keep this video as brief as possible, but today I wanted to discuss with you two different articles, and these articles are going to be discussing the Odic Force. Now, this is a topic that I believe I had heard mentioned before, but really I'd never heard a lot of deep discussion about it. And today we're going to go over briefly what the Odic Force is and exactly what these articles that are scientific in nature from the 1800s and 1900s had to say about this subject matter now to begin basically the odic force is the life force that is said to be running through all things now this term of the odic force obviously is named after the god odin and this term was coined by baron karl von reichenbach who i had discovered just stumbling through a little bit of research earlier tonight i actually had a hankering to look up the history of paranormal research and more specifically the idea of ghost hunting and that is a whole nother video that i'm going to be working on because there is actually a lot of information there but one of the things that i discovered in my reading was the society for psychical research and that is a word I never heard before, but we're looking at P-S-Y-C-H-I-C-A-L, psychical. So the Society for Psychical Research was created, according to the narrative, in 1882. And basically they were an organization dedicated to paranormal research. Now, one of their honorary members, and this was after his death, was Baron Karl von Reichenbach. And they said he and his ideas were some of the leading ideas of this paranormal research group. So obviously, I wanted to look into his research just a little bit. And the Baron himself basically lived throughout the 1800s. And towards the end of his life, he became very fascinated in paranormal research. And the idea of not only free energy being harnessed from the world around us, but how to contact other beings that may have been here before us which is something really interesting it goes into the sort of ancient aliens and hidden history research that we all like so much so here's just a little bit more initially Karl von Reichenbach was actually studying the effects of different substances on the central nervous system and he during this time period apparently developed an idea of a new life force which radiated from all substances similar but independent of electricity heat and magnetism now this force that he described is very similar to chi or prana yet it does not involve any sort of bodily function as with chi and prana von reichenbach believed the true life force could be harnessed by individuals who were sensitive to this force and he would conduct experiments on those who he believed could use the odic force now his experiments were really interesting they basically consisted of him putting different force sensitive users into dark completely absent of light atmospheres and he believed the only way to manifest this odic force into the world into a physical manner that you could view with your eyes was in the dark he believed that human beings had an inept ability to view this odic force and those that were sensitive to it would best be able to do this in complete darkness so i found that to be very interesting as well now according to carl von reichenbach's final conclusions on odic force he has it written that odic force has both a positive or light side and a negative or dark side. And all living creatures have some form of odic force that is acting upon them at all times. Individuals in control of the odic force, according to this narrative, are said to have been able to emanate it, particularly from their hands, their mouths, and their foreheads. And the force itself is written to have had many different applications from the influence on inanimate objects to self-cleansing 
to controlling other less force sensitive individuals. Now, while von Reichenbach hoped to prove that odic force really existed before his death and discover some sort of foolproof experiment, and at the same time many other scientists were on board with his ideas, he died before he was able to quote prove that this odic force really existed and shortly after his death all of his work on the odic force was basically disregarded now let's take a look at this very interesting article about odic force from the early 1900s an article in your paper telling of major Darget discovering and naming the vital rays is interesting however over 80 years ago Baron Charles von Reichenbach discovered the force and called it Odic Force. He published a book entitled Psychic Physiological Researches on the Dynamic of Magnetism, Electricity, Heat, Light, Crystallization, and Chemism in their relation to vital force, in which he proves that the vital or Odic Force has many of the characteristics of electricity and always accompanies the electric current but exists apart from electric force. That it is a form of light is proven by the effect upon a photographic plate. It has a negative and positive pole. It is always in the living animal and under proper conditions can be seen and felt by sensitives. I have collected the force and transmitted it over a copper wire and without exception sensitives have given a like description of the sensation felt from the end of the wire depending whether it were the negative or positive pole applied both men and women are a complete force the right hand being negative the left hand positive we have been used to thinking of men as positive and women as negative but the study of the odic ray shows sex does not make any difference by a number of people joining hands we increase the force as we do in coupling a number of electric batteries together the odic force is much stronger in some people than in others i have increased the odic light from my fingers several inches by attaching a small electric battery to my wrists there is now an electric machine used by some doctors that utilize the odic force in revitalizing the vital force and i have been told it does wonderful work it is a remarkable force and the half has not been told of it i am glad to hear of anyone studying the subject perhaps major darget will teach us something von reichenbach did not by means of a copper plate and copper wire, I have collected and turned the odic force upon plants, and it certainly made them grow. It is claimed that the odic force seen by sensitives in graveyards over freshly buried corpses gives rise to many of the ghost stories. Alas, it proves to be physical, not spiritual. Now, I find that to be really interesting because... Even going into the 1900s, we can find many evidences of the scientific community still being focused on this odic force. And we're told in the mainstream narrative in modern times that after Reichenbach's death, his scientific ideas were considered to be pseudoscience and no one really focused on them anymore. Yet, at the same time, we can discover old books and novels and articles like this that were in common newspapers basically discussing this force and how scientific faculties and different groups of people were still conducting experiments trying to figure out what this odic force really was. So it sort of puts a damper on the current narrative that tries to tell us that this research was all disregarded. I don't find that to be true. And to continue along those lines, I have another article from the early 1920s, which discusses a brand new invention. And this invention is being referred to as the Odic Ray. Now, what's interesting about this is within this article, we have discussion about the X-ray. So at first, when I began reading this, I thought possibly this was just being used as another term for the x-ray, but apparently the odic ray 
is its own device that really never got the mainstream sort of narrative that all of these other old medical devices got. What we're being told is that this odic ray had the ability not only to penetrate walls of steel over 15 feet thick and take photographs of what was on the other side, but they say that this odic ray also had the ability to shatter boulders and shatter castles, shatter solid 20, 30, 40 feet of rock and basically obliterate anything in its path. Now, that led me to thinking about other ideas about old weapons and about the things that happened right after this time period. We're looking at the 1920s and then we have this sort of scientific push looking into these different sort of nuclear and other very I want to say dangerous materials and I think that this odic ray sort of has something to do with that I haven't made the exact ties yet but I'm going to leave this article with you discussing this odic ray and its capabilities and then just think about the time period and also think about how this relates to sort of modern day art or what you want to call movies, media, things like Marvel and Disney, and all of the things that we've seen written about throughout the years. Basically, things that when we first saw them, at least me as a kid, I had never thought about anything like that before. Yet now, as an adult doing old world research, we find that nothing on this earth is really new, and everything, really history itself seems to repeat itself and i find that when i end up with my family re-watching these old movies or re-watching marvel movies there are a lot of references to this hidden history research the odin ray and the odin force and even in movies like star wars i mean it's clear as day that the force and star wars comes from this research on the odin Forced by Reichenbach. So I just want to leave this last article with you. I'm going to let you guys read this one yourselves. I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below as I continue research onto the Odin Ray and the Odin Force and all of these Odic or Old World Life Force abilities and the different ideas that we've gotten from a variety of different cultures. I want to take a deeper dive into that soon, but I thought it was essential to share some of these initial ideas with you and share these two articles with you so I could get a better understanding from you guys of what you think. So leave your comments down below. Please hit the thumbs up so I can continue making this cool content for you. And I will talk to you very soon on the next video.